Hello and welcome. This is Rick Baxter, Cost Control Software. This is video number two of uh, a four, probably. Uh, this one is going to be the Microsoft Dynamics NAV Business Central add-on or application in AppSource for Manufacturing Plus. Uh, the previous video I covered some of the uh, product design areas. In this one, I'm going to talk about the um, sources of demand. What, what creates demand? How do you know what to make when you set up your production orders? That's a very important part, so you know what, what it is that you're supposed to produce. I contend there's about three, maybe four different ways of creating or generating demand. The most obvious is uh, you get a sales order. Somebody orders something, and then you go and make it. So if your business model is that you get a new sales order, so let's just give you an example here. In fact, I think I'll just rather than enter one, just want to talk through some of these concepts. So I'm going to open up a sales order. So this is an order to make a, a conference table. And what you would want to do is after the order is entered, you would then be... Um, generating a uh, there's an action here it is um, under planning to uh, create uh, here under planning this is where you're going to create the uh, production orders okay so you would actually create just basically run a process to create your production order right from here from a sales order so this is a kind of a make to order environment so if an order comes in for uh, a certain item and you need to make it, then you write from the from the sales order itself. The uh, customer service rep can generate a production order using this functionality here. So that's method number one. Okay, I'm gonna show you a second way. And every and every business is a little different. I've got to, you know, just kind of think in terms of your own business. Do I do it that way or do I do it some of these other ways? So another way is from a forecast. Uh, I was just at a customer the other day and they they make all of their inventory items to basically to a forecast. They have a quantity that they're producing and they're going to set up a certain forecast for uh, their production. And so I'll just put an example in here. Let's do it by month. And so here's some inventory items. These are some typical finished good items. You've probably seen these in other demonstrations. So this is uh, for the bicycle. So for January, I'm, I'm predicting uh, we're going to make 100. In February, 150. In March, 130. So if I wanted to add a forecast for May, I would put in whatever that forecast is. Let's say it's 200. And I just, just type it in. Now, you could, if you have that in other places, let's say you've got that in a spreadsheet or something, you could import that forecast from other um, from some other source. But it's pretty simple just to type it in as well. This creates demand. So when you run the MRP process, it looks in May, it says if, uh, if I'm producing for May and I see a production demand here of 200, Oh, I moved it uh, 200 then it's going to make a production order to produce those 200 so this is another way to create production and I'll show you that process here in just a second uh, is from the demand this is where the demands coming from from that item now a third one and I see a lot of people using this as well, is right on inventory. In fact, let's go to that, um, let's go to that item we put in previously. Oh, it was the number 61. Okay, so here is that 61 item. This is what I just put in a moment ago on the other video. And I can show you this because I didn't do much other than set up the part number and the, um, the routing for it as well. But notice down here, I would want to say that this item is replenished by production orders. So I would establish that I'm making this item, not purchasing this item, because this is a finished good item. And you can make it two different ways. You can make to order, or you make it, make it to stock. 
So depending on your manufacturing policy, you would set that up depending on which way you want to go. Notice the routing in the bomb show here as well, and you can drill down to it as needed. Here's where you can establish lot factors, typical lot sizes, but the main thing is this planning. This is our reordering policy. So let's say for this item, if it's um, make to order, then you would set it that way. If it's basically coming from, uh, let's say, some, um, some forecast, then it's probably lot for lot. And you would want to be able to combine not only the forecast, but you would also want to pull in any orders and have those orders kind of consume that forecast as well. You can set reorder points for the item. So you can set that if you get down to a certain stocking level, then it's it kind of automatically tells you it's time to reorder. These are all the parameters on the uh, planning tab of the finished good item. This is called the item card that I'm showing you here. And this is where you set these uh, various parameters. So all of this part is designed to make it very efficient for you uh, with the um, with the production of those finished goods. All right, let's go back and let's see what now pulls this this information. So those are the three ways. Those are the the um, the sales order, the sales order, the fin the uh, um, forecast, and the uh, item card parameters. And all you do is basically you're running what's called the planning worksheet here, a little bit of training. So I'm running this thing called the planning worksheet, and this is where I actually uh, calculate my regenerative plan. This is my, like running, M a lot of you call it running MRP. And it this is where I kind of go out and I establish how much of an item I want to produce. Did I pick that or not? Yeah, I think I did. Give it just a second. Okay, so it brings in my kind of parameters that I've saved from past uh, runs, and it puts in, I can tell it whether I want to run an MPS or MRP, and again, anytime you have questions on these things, I'm going to encourage you to just pick up the phone and give me a call. I'll be glad to talk to you about this. Uh, the planning horizon is how far out in the future do you want to look? A week, two weeks, three weeks, two months? Um, that's what you said here. And then you sit, hit OK, and it calculates the and brings in the material list that you need to order or that you need to produce. And then you simply carry that out. Uh, here's the carry out action messages. And it will then produce the purchase orders. It produces the uh, production orders. All of that very nicely managed right here by carrying out the demand for those finished goods. Now, one little thing I will point out here on the on this um, planning worksheet is that you'll notice on the right side, let me move this out of the way, is for each of the items, I think it's important to be able to see the status of inventory right here. So I've added, and this is again part of Manufacturing Plus, this is one of the many features within it, is the supply and demand. So it shows me exactly for each of the items, if I'm here on the front wheel, then I can see the quantity on hand, the quantity of requisitions, quantity of purchase orders, there aren't any, and the quantity of demand, such as sales orders, okay, or service orders or jobs that are requiring that uh, that particular component. So you can basically see that here as well as you'll notice at the bottom the worksheet totals so that you can see the totals if I move this down just a little bit. Yeah. No. There we go. So here's the um, here's that worksheet total for the the total. This is kind of like cash requirements I would say. Most of these are purchase order type items. Uh, nothing on this list so far is the production orders or transfer orders, but it's but it at least tells me what my cash requirements are going to be if I go ahead and carry out and buy these particular items. 
So I wanted you to see that concept of the uh, demand. And in the next video, I'm going to go into a lot of the concepts around a production order itself, because this is the main part of the uh, manufacturing uh, software.